Are you about to call me a slur? Oh. I was gonna say you you got me there, but I guess the way my mouth was forming. And keep that shit now, in. Zach, if anything, I'm a lot of things. I'm me. <laughs> I'm black. I'm overweight. But at the very fucking core, I'm a goddamn ally. And I will never, you know I would never say anything like that. Well, shit, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Something seemed like, it seemed like it was loading. Hey, hey, hey y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. Hey, bottoms up, bitch. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Bottoms Up with your favorite sexy black host, Fanita, and today I have a light-skinned body, a TikTok <laughs> superstar. He is funny, he is sexy, and he is one of the girls. It's Zach Jokes! Make some motherfucking noise! Yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> yeah, hey. Back again. I lead the pack, so my back's to them. Okay. You would be behind me. Are you on top of I'll be bottom? behind you. <laughs> oh, this is how we're starting. Good morning. <laughs> Mind you, um, she told me she wasn't going to try me, but this is how we open the episode. I feel like that's, okay. like, that's us just getting to know each other. That's not a No, I feel like you're just trying to see something. I mean, yeah, look at you. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, okay, seriously, give me your hand. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing super good. Are now, you? Because when I look into your eyes, I feel like I'm seeing, like, you know, I'm seeing some things. Are you seeing me undress naked, sprawled onto a canopy okay. bed? All right. Well, in the middle of the Amalfi Coast. Well, no, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you in this. Are you vest. seeing me in a I'm white? I'm seeing you dressed in this. I'm vest. See, are you seeing me in a white dress, thinking about taking it off? No. The altar? Please look into the camera how you're looking in my eyes. Like this is crazy. Are you seeing me at our fucking honeymoon in Greece, no. naked on the beach? I'm seeing you in a suit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would eat down in a suit. I want to be. I want to be a um, groomsman in one of my guy friends' wedding. Okay. I want to wear a pantsuit. Wait, I actually saw like um, a wedding and they did that. It was cute. Yeah. Yeah. So you would. Mm -hmm. Do you ever want to get married? <sighs> that is. Ooh, that's a commitment, y'all. In this day and age, this dating, this dating pool. <laughs> yeah. The dating pool, especially I, in. I'm not LA. gonna lie. The dating pool just reminds me of like Ursula's cave. <laughs> just a bunch of fucking eels and monsters and ghouls and yeah. fucking gremlins hiding in the depths of the ocean. And people be weird. Like it be everything is like perfect, right? And then it be just one thing that's like off, and it's like and damn. And you I showed your hand, like I don't know. And it also is like I feel like people now they're just like psychotic. I mean, yeah. Like, not even just like, for me, it's like, how do you go out with somebody and like say things that you just don't mean, do things you just don't mean? And, right. Like, like, that's psychotic. I think we talk about, like, I feel like that's mental illness. That is, that's like, crazy. You're playing a character this whole time. Yeah. And they can just snap back into it and yeah. snap back out of it and then act like nothing even happened. It's crazy. And you're crazy for like, well, like, I never said right. X, Y, and Z. So I don't know why you even got into this. Who are you dating? Nobody right now. Were you, were you dating? Yeah, but you know, I keep me a couple. I keep me a couple things on a roster. Oh, you have a roster. You know what I'm saying? You need a roster. Like yeah. you, you always gotta have a roster, like to just pull the cards, just yeah, in case. Yeah, so when I'm bored, one I can just go talk to the other one. Yeah. So you're a player. Would you consider yourself a player? Or would you just say I you're doing what you need to do? An employer. Oh. I'm an. Em these are my employees. I don't think I'm a player. I think okay. um. A basketball coach. You're a CEO. Yes. Okay, so are you laying them off as needed? Yes, exactly. Okay. Around Christmas time, a lot of people got laid off. Oh, it's giving COVID. Yeah, yeah. It was oh, getting, it was okay. getting COVID. I nobody got bonuses this year. Nobody performed mm. well. Uh, and then I'm doing new hires right now. Okay. So if you would like to apply to be a part of my company, Fanita LLC, <laughs> feel free to send me an email mm -hmm. to the Pastor Bedtime YouTube channel, and then we can discuss what you could bring to my company. What's your type? What's my type? Because Never mind. I don't okay. I don't really have a type, but I like a pretty smile. That's really uh, just the okay. only criteria. I That's like, it. Like I like a pretty smile. You have to be my height or taller. I am five eight. Um, mm -hmm. you have to be my height or taller. I don't, you don't have to be like six seven or six five or anything okay. like that. Thank it, God. Five ten. I really like guys that are five ten. Really? Like, five ten is like my sweet spot. Wait, why? I don't know. We just I don't know. We oh, so you, so you're not one of them girls that gotta be like. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. Also, like, if you okay. think about the percentage of the people that are six foot, it's very slim. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people are six foot. And then sometimes guys that are like taller than six foot have some type of 
superiority complex yes, or god and then complex. Then everything you fucking hear about them is them being six foot. And right. then I also like guys, you know, I, I like them I like them with dark hair, dark features. Okay. Uh yeah. Oh. Damn, I've never heard a girl say I want somebody five ten. Yeah, I don't really I like height Ever. never like height has never occurred to me. Wow. Yeah. You're one you're you, you know, you're a dime I of the am dozen. a short king lover. Oh, so five ten is short? Low key. Okay. Well actually it's like I'm five eight and people call me tall, so I feel like I feel but like, I think it's also like when you're a girl <clears throat> and a boy, the proportions look different. Yeah, because a lot of when, guys that are five eight look kind of stocky. Yeah, and five, they have eight, like shorter torsos. Right, and so they look shorter. Mm-hmm. But you know me, I'm like elongated. Wait, why do girls who are like the same height as guys look taller? Like that's crazy. I heard somebody because I made a video about it. Somebody said it was like our limbs. Like girls have like girls used to have like longer legs and oh, longer arms. Oh, okay. And boys have like. Longer torso. I don't fucking know. Because a five eight girl and a, and a five, five eight, eight boy, guy, he, the boy be looking like a mouse. Yes. And she be looking like tall. And I'm like, how does that? Mm-hmm. But yeah, okay. So you're from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta, where the. You know, it all is making sense now. Oh. You're from Atlanta. I wanted to keep that a secret. I didn't keep nothing a secret. You kept Listen, a secret. people think Atlanta is. I'm not from Atlanta. Just to clear it. Okay. I'm not when I'm not from Atlanta. I mean, I'm vibing with them, but. Do you think people from Atlanta are dumb? And what? I just see a lot of dumbass <laughs> tweets on Twitter, and they usually the bio usually says location Atlanta. Well, I've cut my connection to Atlanta since then, mm-hmm. so I really don't associate. But. I don't know. Atlanta just, I feel like it scares me. Like, I feel like I need a bulletproof when I go back. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Atlanta scares me too. And the thing is, if I ever get a service done in Atlanta, no matter, like, like if I get my hair done, lashes, whatever, and she okay. fucked me up, I'm paying. Because them bitches ain't got Ooh, nothing to lose. Nothing. <laughs> you will be shot in your back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, don't play. I would never dare tell an Atlanta stylist that I don't like something. I'm going to just, y'all got it, man. It's, I just want to walk away with my life. Especially if they seen that card. If they if you seen that card, the funds will be swiped. Scam, yes. scam, scam, scam. Do you, how do you gone. feel about people taking uh, like hairstylists and shit to court now? I mean, some of the hairstylists be fucking them up. So like, it's like I don't know, I, you know, I don't know, but Atlanta. Sometimes you got to do some settlements. Cause mm-hmm. Have you ever been jumped in Atlanta? Jumped in Atlanta? No, but I'll tell you what did happen at my college. And this might be a little crazy, but and we can cut this if we need to. <laughs> but um, basically, I was in college, and you know how in co- you went to college. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know how was that a big little bitch? <laughs> no, I just I just <laughs> you didn't went know. To did you? I don't know. I did. Um, but anyway, so you know the group chats in college where mm-hmm. you can like send group it, me and shit. Yes, be- yeah. right between each like neighborhood or whatever. Mm-hmm. Some a kid literally got like shot on the ground in my like by Atlanta. And they just left him on the pavement, and it was crazy. And I, that's when I knew I had to get out of college because it just was not for what me. What college did you go to? Kennesaw State in Georgia. Mm. Yeah, it's like it's like a school where it's between UGA and, like, the state school. Mm-hmm. And it's like people who just don't go to either one just go there. Mm-hmm. And it was just given, like, I don't know. It was like they just left him bleeding out. I was like, okay, well. That seems, I don't know. Atlanta, Atlanta does terrify me. But it's also kind of fun, though. I've never been now that I'm older. Like, I, as soon as quarantine. Wait, are you not hit, from Georgia? Are you from Georgia? I am, okay. but like, I haven't been back to like actual Atlanta now that I'm older. Because as soon as I, like, quarantine hit in college, I just went to LA. Mm-hmm. How was, old are you? I'm 23. What are you? Oh, I'm 25. Oh, oh! Why did I think you were like my age? Like, you look. Because I'm young and youthful. I'm a spring chicken. You are. Thank you. You give me youth. Like when I look at you, I'm like, it's giving like yeah. I'm a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm just young, hot, and turn. Did okay. you go to private school or public school? Oh, God. I went to private school. <gasps> Gasp! Do you think you're better than me, little bitch? No, I actually, like, commend public school. Like, I wish I went to public school. It was, like, cool to go to public school. Private mm-hmm. school is giving trauma. Were you pop- were you popular in private school? The thing is, everyone is, like, considered popular unless you're, like, one of the weirder kids. Mm-hmm. Because the school is so small that, like, mm-hmm. everyone knows everybody. So it's like, girl, you're going to be popular or whatever i'm sorry i have to say this what? the little freckles across your nose are so adorable <laughs> thank you i mean it, people say it's like the filter <laughs> you know it's, it's, <laughs> like really it's, the filter it's after. giving thank you you know i don't usually like light-skinned boys but you don't why you think they're gay no <laughs> <laughs> you think they're dl you think they're trade? <laughs> that's what all the girls say i guess i just think light-skinned men like you know they have their type and that usually I don't usually don't fit that criteria. Really? Mm-hmm. 
I yeah. feel okay. Well, I mean, I'm not in the straight dating pool. Yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. Let me stop. Yeah. Do you like a light skin for light skin? No, honestly, like I'm really about vibe mm -hmm. because you can look a certain way, but if you don't have the vibe, I'm not attracted at all. Yeah. What's the worst race you've ever had sex with? Um. Well, I'm scared. I'm just playing. <laughs> Do not answer that. <laughs> I'm looking like I'm scared. I'm just fucking around. You're not going to get me on here. <clears throat> uh, what's your, who's your favorite Atlanta rapper? Was that on the card, first no. of all? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, no. Please, y'all. If I say something, look, I'm trapped. It's giving trap. Okay. Who's ahead. your favorite Atlanta rapper? Favorite Atlanta rapper? Hmm. Lana Del Rey? You're LAFI'd. Um, <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't think I've ever heard a Lana Del Rey song. Do you listen to Lana Del Rey? I only heard the Let the Light In. Can you sing it? No. But no, my I'm favorite rapper, ass, Playboy Cardi. I'll say Playboy Cardi. Okay, nice. Okay. You? Uh, Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Who's from Atlanta? Uh, Your lips look luscious. You want to kiss me? Like, I'm thinking, like, I don't know. Like, is it? I mean, you used to be straight, so like you can like turn back the hands of time. Wait, I'm frozen. <laughs> Wait, this is crazy. <laughs> like, where am I? Where am I? Used to be straight. It's crazy. <laughs> well, I could play the card. I used to play the card. You, you, you can play the game. But I used, to try, I used to try to play the card, but like, if you look back at the videos, it's like. It never gave. It, ne <laughs> it gave. It gave. Like, everybody, girl. Was, everybody who came out here, like, we were just like, girl. Oh, wait, that's what y'all were like? Yes. <laughs> I thought I had y'all fooled. <laughs> no, I thought, baby. <laughs> I thought y'all were like, oh my, wait, yeah. him? him? No, Zach? <laughs> I would have never. I would have. The one that comes on with Aquaphor on camera every single day with Whoa. moisturized skin and a perfect haircut and manicured nails. Wait, is that true? Oh. If a boy is too clean looking, do like girls just assume but that they're But it was also gay? like the inflection of the way you talk. Of course. It. The thing is, would you know that I used to re-record my video like three times and try you to- You would try to- <gasps> Yeah, I would try to like. Yeah. Yeah. But it never. It never it's just gave the inflection. That. Like, it's yeah. just, you know. You just never gave that. Yeah. Oh, what were we talking about? My favorite Atlanta rapper. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say Lotto. I love Lotto. Lotto. Oh, okay. Bit Lotto. Yeah, she's hard. <clears throat> so, we're going to get to know you better because I literally know absolutely nothing about you. So, we're going to take yeah. a trip down memory lane. Fuck. And read some of your tweets. <laughs> 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 um. First, do you remember when you got Twitter? No. Mm -mm. Okay. This is no particular order, although we will just give a quick shout out to your first tweet, which was uh, May 8th, 2015. These are not my tweets. You're fucking lying. <laughs> May 8th, 2015. And it was, I'm an asshole with a really big heart. And it got 9.6K likes. You know why? Why? I used to be one of those Twitter people <laughs> who would tweet the vibes. Yeah, so you like, get, people would relate? Yeah, like, I just want love, but it's just, like, hard out here. Yeah. And like, I would tweet about... I feel like I would have tweets about girls, but it would be like, boy, it's copied and pasted. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just, you know, I just like a cool vibe. Right. I'm uh, really chill. That's what, yeah. Yeah. In reality. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really chill and shrill and like, I can't ever find anybody to match my fly. Mm -hmm. And you have to bat your eyes. Our sponsor for today's episode is Pros. No one has hair like yours. So why would you settle for mass-produced, one-size-fits-all hair care? My hair was on the dry side, tended to even be a little flaky, and I was dying for hydrated hair. Since making the switch to made-to-order hair care with Pros, I'm so serious when I say this, y'all. I've never been this in love with my hair before. Having customized hair care that works for me rather than relying what's available at the store has truly been a game changer. Using natural, sustainably sourced ingredients pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements all the formulas have been lab tested and formulated by biocosmetic chemists in paris that's when you know pros is the real deal for us ladies first pro starts by asking about my hair goals like hydrated scalp increased volume less shedding the in-depth consultation is kind of fun y'all they asked me some questions i was not expecting like what did my diet consist of but then Pros analyzed all my answers and handpicked clean, sustainably sourced ingredients to help me reach my hair goals. I now have a gentle, sulfate-free cleanser that doesn't strip my hair moisture and protects my hair from breakage. Custom made to order hair care with Pros is the key to achieving all of your hair goals this year. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 50% off your first subscription order today, plus 15% off and free shipping every subscription order after that. Go to pros.com slash bottoms up. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash bottoms up for your free in-depth hair consultation and 50% off your first subscription order. 
Okay, so one dates back to June 11th, 2020, in which you said, everybody isn't meant to make music. Y'all got to start accepting this. Who are you talking about? <laughs> you, look, in this day and age and back then, you can apply it. You think about influencers making music? Influencers making music? Honestly, the thing is, I feel like you can tell if someone actually can, is doing it because they actually want to do it. And, like, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. Like, even if it's bad, like, okay, whatever. But some people just do it, and it's like, bitch, you don't know what the fuck you're even yeah. saying. You don't even have a message to convey, mm -hmm. you know? So, honestly, I don't really care. I really don't care what people do, mm -hmm. like, at all. Like, I think I'm going to come out with a song. But okay. actually, but I'm not I'm not an artist. I just want to do it just because I want to. But I need somebody to ghostwrite me a rap, find me a producer to make me a beat, and I'm going to get in the studio and just drop it. No, you don't. I know you can rap. I know, the way that you're funny and you can talk, I know you can write a rhyme. I, like, I, could, don't play. I could write a rap, but what the bars hit is the question. Yes. Because I feel like I need a ghostwriter to professionally perfect it. Because like if a if an influencer or a TikToker comes out with a song, people are already going to hate on it. But they if are. I get it like, you know, tight, then okay. they can't say shit to me about it. They can't say shit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next tweet you said, I'm just going to say it. It's so fucking cold. I thought about running in front of a car on my way to class. Was this Ooh, a I was in college. call for help? That was a call. <laughs> that, that was a call for help. There was one particular time where I was walking back from like an 8 p.m. math class mm -hmm. in the dark, dim Atlanta, like sleet. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, honestly, if a this car is it hit, right here. Yeah, if a car hit me, I yeah. would probably smile and say, thank you. Yeah, thank you for taking me on my race. Bro, I was so broke in college every day because like our, our like uh, college was in like through like a main street. And mm -hmm. every time like I would see a car, I would just. Fuck, man. I cannot afford this tuition. Like, <laughs> like you'd be a thought that would go through my head every time on campus. Like, if I just get them hit me enough, like I would just be enough. <laughs> like, <laughs> enough be, is crazy. Like, you don't want to be taken I would, out. I would be looking at cars and like, okay, they're going too fast for me to jump in front of it. Like, if I can just fall and like, I wanted to get hit by a car so bad, and I always wanted to get hit by a university bus. Okay, well, why? Cause that check. If I survive, okay, 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 okay. I, like I was literally, I was literally thinking about how much money I can make, bro. Period. I want to get hit by a car so bad. Um, <laughs> I was broke too. You had a lot of tweets about hating Offset. Did I? Yeah. Let me see. You're uh, lying. I mean, that's what's on the card, but we don't have a tweet to cover that up. Right. <laughs> You're lying. Where are these tweets coming from? Hold on. Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh god. Nothing's gonna happen. Close your eyes. Uh, oh god. There's an intruder. He has a loaded Glock. It's to your skull. Is he fine? Cardio Nikki. Is he fine? Oh, Cardio Nikki. Sorry. Guns to your head. Cardio, Cardio Nikki. Nikki. Quickly. Quickly. Five, four. Wait, three, wait, two, wait. One. Nikki. <laughs> Cardi Ooh, B. They gonna get you. Cardi B follows me, so it's like, I'm scared. It says Cardi or Nikki. Who you picking? Nikki. I'm sorry. So you're a barb? I'm a barb. Oh, let me not say that. Because, like, mm -hmm. the way people do is like, you can say you're a barb, like you can't say it just because you like her. You have to know every lyric and every song. Yes, I don't that's know why that. I don't say I'm a barb because I love Nicki Minaj. That's my, you know, she be, she be wilding out, but she, uh, yeah. yeah. But like I just I don't know every I don't know like her first ever mixtape that she sold no. on the streets of Brooklyn. Like exactly. I don't know. I don't so, you, know. so then you'll get jumped on if you say you're a barb. Like yeah. that's crazy. But. I love Nicki though. Um, I like Cardi too. But April 2017. Are you in high school at that time? In 2017. 2017. Yeah. Holy shit! What did I say? No. What um, <laughs> Wait. He said, are people actually afraid to double text? I will send 16 messages in a row and feel no shame whatsoever. Oh. At the time, this is real. I wasn't texting anybody, though. That's the whole problem. So you were a loser in high school. You had no friends and people were like, ew. So what happened was, I wasn't a loser. I was just different. Mm -hmm. Like, the thing is, I started social media literally. You were like underground. You were just misunderstood. I was underground social media. Yeah, you were They didn't understand it. Yeah. I, but they would see like me post on like Instagram and stuff, and I was posting as a like not influencer they, that word wasn't even around but i was mm -hmm. just posting not like them like mm -hmm. just posting for other people and i was a loser so you're an of attention that. seeker no i didn't want to they would go and find my account i tried to make a new account they went and found it and still were talking shit mm -hmm. i was like oh my gosh like what are we do you ever yet? double text i have i do all the time i don't give a fuck i have who's gonna but are you gonna cut my phone off What's going to happen? Wait, why do you double text, though? Because you, you want them to respond or well, you're upset I, that they're I text, not? I text in a way that I talk. So I just. Oh. Yeah. So you're, when you say oh, double are you text, about, waiting. Oh, okay. And then I do text, that, too, though. I do both. 
I do it to people that like. Like you're not gonna ignore me. Answer me. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> Answer me. But like, what? Some people can ignore good. Like that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's just like, why are you doing this to me? I'm America's sweetheart. Right. That's and, hurting me. Like, why would you hurt me? Exactly. I don't deserve it. I'm cute. But yeah, I, I do double text. <clears throat> Within the same month, you tweeted, people will notice a change in your attitude towards them, but won't notice their behavior that made you change. Oh, this is fucking what Shakespeare kind of come up with that. These are all copy and pasted. Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> this is a fucking Tumblr post. These are all. Did I actually no, no, you tweeted this, but I'm saying you could have got this off. <laughs> I mean, I probably did. What am I supposed to say about these? Like, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> We're just talking about them. Okay. You said, I'm honestly just afraid of someone losing interest in me after getting so attached to them. Hadn't and talked you to thought you was straight. You thought you <laughs> tweeted shit like this. Everybody's be like, yeah, that's a straight guy. Hey, I thought I had. I thought they were gonna be like, "Oh, he's just one in a million. Like, he's one of the straight men who just can really." He gets feel it. In their emotionally. Were you available. were you fucking girls? No. Have you ever fucked a girl? No. Oh, you're pure. I've done other stuff with a girl though. But you never been. I've touched. never done the penetration though. You've never been touched. No, I've been touched, but I haven't. No, been. you've never like you're like you're not damaged goods. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You know that's what, what guys say when girls have had sex with more than one person. But like you're like that's what guys say. Yeah, you've never been like nobody's had you. No other girl on this earth could say they. No fucked girl. You. Yeah, no other girl could say they fucked you. No. Now you know what has to happen. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually. I think you fucking know. Well, we'll Let's see wrap this shit up quick. <laughs> Look, this drink, I don't know what they put in it, but girl. It was, it was just sugar-free Red Bull. Okay. Um, <laughs> another tweet you said, my parents warned me about the drugs in the streets, but never- You're lying. <laughs> That's what I got. That's what I got. Uh, my parents warned me about the drugs in the streets, but never the ones with brown eyes and a heartbeat. <laughs> I didn't tweet. No. Hold on. Cut every <laughs> camera in the back. <laughs> what year? What date? This what? is in 2016. 2016. So like brown eyes, is that your thing? You like a brown eye, a brown eye baddie? I love brown eyes. I do. What kind of drugs do you do currently? Look at me. Do you, I don't even look like I do drugs. You don't. You look, <laughs> like, very, don't. You look very clean cut. There was a guy at an LA party and he said, he turned to me and he said, do you have any blow? And I said, uh, before I could even get my word out, he said, you know what? You look healthy. You don't look like you do drugs. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. Yeah, that's a compliment. Yeah, and he looked like ghostly. Bro, being in LA, I didn't, because like, you know what I'm saying? When I was in Birmingham, nobody did coke for real. No? Like, I mean, some people like What'd did coke, but like, it was just like weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Atlanta nobody really, too. Yeah, yeah, nobody really did coke. When I got to LA, like, I remember this one time I was outside of a bar, and he was just asking everybody outside, like, hey, anybody got a spare oh, they're bump? Fiends. They, they're fiends. And it's like, mm -hmm. wait, are we forgetting this is an illegal substance? Right. Like, you're saying this out loud. You're not even being discreet. He was like, right. like, you, like, you got a cigarette. Like, he was like, you got some blow? Yeah, they don't care. And, like, and they need it. Yeah, they, they, they need that they shit need it. bad. Yeah. Like, it's crazy out here. Mm, the okay. girls are bumping off keys. Ooh. Now it's the next tweet. Stalking my tweets won't tell you anything. I could tweet, I'm so upset, and be talking about how somebody ate my last chicken wing. That's very black of you to say. That kind of ate, though. Because the reason why I said that is my tweet isn't going to tell you anything because they were all copy and pasted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was never my mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know what I used to so do? So do you also steal content, too, when you're on TikTok? Like, oh, you steal no. tweets? Oh, no. Oh. The girls steal mine. Oh, okay. And I see it, but I don't say anything. I mm -hmm. let the girls just, oh, you want to be original? You know, you remember, huh, actually, not you remember. This is something that my personal opinion of you. There is a one point for a couple of months that I wanted you gone, like, off the face <laughs> of the gone earth. Gone is crazy. I wanted you, I wanted you packed up. What did I do? The crumble cookie shit. That shit was and you know, pissing me off so And guess bad. what? After the second video, I didn't want to do it either. Because you of all, have to figure out what works and you have to do it yeah, and milk it. And, and like, girls, you milked it. And you milked it good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, people say, still to this day DM me. They got him on payroll. Like, he cannot, like, crumble this much. Them shits were hurting my stomach like hell. They I would look... Like, they look like somebody vomited and baked it. Have you ever had one? Fuck no. Don't. I don't want preset diabetes. Don't. And them bitches should have gave me a brand deal, but they didn't. And that's why you should have stopped doing it. That's what I should have. But the way I that's was. That's why you can't ever give them, like, you can't give these brands no leeway. Because you can do the above and beyond and they still won't write you a check. Yeah. Funky motherfuckers. <clears throat> oh, okay. I was from Alabama. <laughs> okay. Where's your accent? Where'd my accent go, Buckwild? Yeah. I feel like I just talk like a black person from the South. Yeah. But, like, I thought you would have a twang. No. Okay. So you rate a lot of people's outfits. 
mm-hmm. as if you can dress. You see how I came in tonight. <laughs> yeah, or a t-shirt today. from a fucking thrift store and in? some expensive oh, no, ass you, shorts. You see, you see where I, you, you see how I come on. Breaking news. You see for the how first I come time on. ever in fashion history, a tall skinny boy's wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Let's break the bells and sound the fucking alarm. I didn't come here to be hated. I came here to just, you know, do my thing. Well, but. if you were fucking me, I'd be a lot nicer. <laughs> This is, um. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and go ahead. What's your poker face for telling someone that their outfit is hideous? Has I anybody? Say, I say, oh, so are you ready yet? Are you ready? Oh, that's me. That's shady. Is it? That's shady boots. Is it, is it? Um, or I'll be like, wait, but what if you did this? That's that's actually See, what that's I go what you to. Do. You have to give it a suggestion. Yeah, but if it's like my friend, friend, yeah, I'll yeah. be like, oh, so are you ready? So let's get dressed. <laughs> 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 let's get dressed. You're mean as fuck. I'm really not, but I'm blunt, and people take that as me being mean. No, no. Would you no. rather me lie to you? No, of course not. Okay. I too am blunt, but I feel like now people are saying just because you're blunt doesn't make you whatever. I don't think I mean like. I be saying mean shit, but I would never. Okay, let's say you have it. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> like, okay, wait. Let's say, let's say, let's say you have an insecurity, right? Okay. I would never joke about that insecurity. Right. But I would say mean shit other than that. Like, I would never purposely say okay. anything to hurt your feelings oh, if that, I knew that it would bother you. Me too, yeah. Yeah, I'm but like, way. sometimes I'm mean, but I'm mean in a funny way, so I feel like that's fun. Yeah, but what if you're mean and you think it's, it's funny, but they don't? Then I apologize. Period. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like, oh, my fault. I didn't know we couldn't key. Some of the girls in the, uh, Right. <laughs> you can't key with everybody. You can't key with you everybody. You can't. That's what I noticed here. Like, yeah. people would literally be like, oh, no, like, they got an attitude of you're mean, but they just... Especially because we're all from different places, mm-hmm. so we all joke differently. And I had to realize, like, some people can't take. Yeah, joke, so like sometimes you know? when I see girls at uh, like events and shit, and they look really pretty, I make sure I'm just like, "Oh my god, girl, you look stunning, mm-hmm. slay!" Because yeah. I want to be like, "Oh, bitch, you taking it? Like, you you the baddest bitch in the world." They'll be like, "I'm taking what?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I, like they'll be like, "What did I do?" You know. So like, yeah, you just can't key, and like some people just can't take like a joke. No. And then it's, but I also like key. I like people that can key back. Yeah, like if you can't, th- that's another thing. Like everybody that I hang around, I feel like they can key back. Like, mm-hmm. if you can't, it's given, like, it's given I'm bullying you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. what? You know what I mean? And but. so, and then it's also, it's like, sometimes it's funny, though, like, when they can't key, and it's just like, oh, you're such an easy target, but I have to... Wait, you'll target people? Not target, but it's like, you know, you have, like, that one friend that you just, like, make fun of? I was him. That was me. Oh. I'm just kidding. No. Learn how to fight back. In high school. Oh, I learned. Yeah. In high school, like, the girls used to, just because I did social media, they used to get on me. Also, for my non-confrontational people, y'all got to learn how to fight back. Like, y'all got (laughs) to learn how to be, like, confrontational. Like, I know it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know some people aren't, but, like, if people, like, if you have a friend like me, which, you know. Like I joke, my friends joke back. Like, don't think my friends will ever say no fucked up. Like they, they be, they be getting my ass too. But I feel like you're just like, no, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to, I don't want to be me. Nah, if they're coming, if they're coming at you. Get in their ass. Mm-hmm. T- attack them back. Be confrontational. Right. Nothing good comes from being non-confrontational because then when they say something that you actually like really get mad at, it's like, I don't know, it just fucks up the dynamic because it's like, oh, you've never said anything this whole time. Mm-hmm. We've been friends. I didn't know that like you were offended. And then like the one time I say something, now you trying to jump me. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? But it just also depends on your friendship. Like, if you have a friend where y'all just like go back and forth and it's fine, then like, that's fine. Um, you gotta watch the quiet ones. Though. Yeah. Sometimes they blow up and then it and be then, the yeah, end you, of the you world. You fat black bitch. Woo. Oh, woo. And a slur comes out. And it's like, <laughs> uh oh. Like, huh? Wait, hold on. That's I know you not... had that in you. That's not. Yeah. I thought you were Miss Congeniality. I thought you were Miss Universe. (laughs) Oh, now you've piped up. Now you have an opinion. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, but I do love it when my nice friends finally say something mean because it's like, fucking oh, finally. Oh, yeah. Finally. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, I, I like a weight lifts off my shoulder. Like, I don't have to be the one to say it. Because mm-hmm. you know, some people always say, like, not to be mean, but I don't ever say that. I'm just like, okay. Oh, no. Because if you just say the shit, but you then, say things that, like, <laughs> I just would never say, but, like, I would kind of be thinking, like, halfway <laughs> through it. I'm supposed to be fucking Mr. Fantastic and reach over there. <laughs> you, you fucking pissed me off. Were you bro. always like that? Yeah. You were always like you. You would always just be like, say the shit that, like, you wouldn't care. Yeah, because the How? thing is, How did you get I have a very, I have a very threatening demeanor. Okay, like people are scared of me. Really? <laughs> yeah. You, you don't like you don't scare me. Like you, I feel like it's and, giving. And like, like I feel like if you get to know me, I'm not scary. But because like I'm <laughs> tall and black, like people are intimidated <laughs> by me. <laughs> You are stupid. You are so dumb. Like, okay, imagine, imagine somebody actually being like, 
Fanita. That's fuck. Like you don't want a taste of it. Like yeah, you know what I'm uh, saying? Like I'm the type of person that you. Do you ever be like? Do you ever play sports? Yeah, I played basketball. And football. Okay, I played basketball. So like, I was on a basketball team where like we'd all talk shit, and if like somebody's talking shit, and you like chuckle. What you laughing for? You know what I'm saying? So right. like. That's the type of vibe that I give people. It's like people just kind of let me say whatever because you don't want this. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I <laughs> like, get it. Like, stay quiet. Keep it cute because if, if you start talking, you pipe up. Because you're not going to win this tennis match. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. Gonna, yeah. But it's also just like, this has just been me my whole life. Like, I always just said shit and nobody mm-hmm. did anything. Yeah. Like, because, like, <laughs> it would be in class, like, when I was being mean, like, in high school. And I would say something to, like, one of my friends that was, like, mean. But, like, to us, it's like a joke. Right. And they'd, like, be like, uh, um, Fanita, that's actually not okay. And I'd be like, and your teeth having a gap are not okay, but here we Woo! are. Woo! Like, you just have hey. to stand down. Like, sit this way. Wait, out. were you a bully? Yes, but not for the reasons you think. <gasps> you were a bully? I was an elementary school bully. Fanita. I was going to get abused at home. I had to take my anger out on somebody. You think my stepmom was going to let me go to therapy? <laughs> you think she cared enough about my well being to put me in therapy? No, black black parents they don't they don't think. So yeah, I was like the thing is I feel 100% bad and I've talked about me being a bully when I was younger, but it was mm-hmm. solely because I just needed an outlet for my anger. Okay. And sorry to those that I bullied in elementary school and I've obviously changed. I'm not a bully anymore, but mm-hmm. like hurt people hurt people and hurt people hurt people. And that's, that is that's, true. That is just like the tea. It's like, Damn, that is the you know, team. I felt bad about myself internally. I was getting bullied at home. I was insecure. Mm-hmm. I was getting all mean things said to me at home. So I was like, oh, like, I want to be mean to people. That was your outlet. That yeah, was like, outlet. I want to be mean to people because, like, I'm, like, it's not fair that, like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was, like, obviously I was a kid, so it was, like, my brain wasn't working. Like, obviously that's not fair. That's not right to do, and I'm not condoning it. Right. But it is a part of my past, and it is part of, like, the things that I've done that I'm not proud of, but, you know. Period. We spread love and positivity now. I was never a bully, but guys. That's good. <laughs> good, good. You had a great home life. Who gives a fuck? I. No, I did. I did. <laughs> I, I did. Dad was a little crazy okay. at times, like a little bit like crazy, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I just. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move on. <laughs> um, what's the hype about Bad Bunny? I know the hype about Bad Bunny. He's sexy as fuck. He is. And he's a big ass eater. Do you think Bad uh, Bunny's bisexual? Yes. I saw a video you have of him an inside, Do you have an inside source? No, but I, 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 I've seen a video of him twerking. <sighs> we might have to take a break, because why the fuck is my vodka? My, my vodka? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> why the I fuck know. is this shit warm? Can I get some fucking ice cubes on this set? It's nasty when it's warm. Where do you get me? <laughs> so I want you gone. <laughs> I want you gone. <laughs> I want you gone like yesterday. Matter of fact, lead is in the pot. I want you gone. The accent came. I want, I want her gone. <laughs> <laughs> the accent came. You know, here's the thing. So, for those of you who don't know, I have a hater that, that also works for the podcast. Her name is Laura. <laughs> and she constantly fucking aggravates me and one day she came on set she hit me like before we started filming she said she was gonna slap me and i was like girl what i just came to work something she doesn't do she sits over there in her fucking hoodie comfortable as shit while i'm drinking lukewarm fucking red bull throat's on fire because she don't give a fuck about my well-being (laughs) (laughs) bite that laura thank you thank you Devin. Thank you, Devin, for not making me drink hot breath Red Bull. <laughs> Yo, it's so messy. Messy as hell. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about my outburst. I'm not a diva, but I just refuse to have fucking warm drink. Now, excuse me while I take a sip. Damn. Back to the show. Um. <laughs> right. Because that was... The listeners definitely were listening. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I literally went on a tangent because I started bullying you and I forgot what the question was. Were you really? I, was about, I was talking about your clothes. You make a lot of YouTube fashion videos. Um. Tell me about, like, you know... Okay. Since you're, like, an expert in fashion. Yeah, I have my own... Who's yeah. your favorites when it comes to fashion? Fashion? Ooh. 
Who is my favorite? I don't know. I feel like I get inspired by like a lot of people, just random. Like I don't have like a favorite fashion person. Oh, you one of them? Like I don't really know. Like I just take I take inspiration from you. There's somebody you be copying a little bit. No. Mm -mm. I think I have my own. I feel like people just. Uh, I feel, I feel like I have my own. Thing. Tell me how much this outfit costs. How much were the shorts? These are like Zara. Okay. How much was the shirt? I forgot. I'm sure you did. How much is on the shirt? It's the same shirt. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it attached to the sleeve? Yes, attached. Okay, how much were the Tims? The Tims look like you work construction. They, yeah. they done been through it a little bit. Yeah, they're just distressed. It's like the vibe. You been like replacing the asbestos? I'm frozen in time, if you didn't know. <laughs> Sometimes when people say stuff, I have to freeze in time. Because <laughs> I can't. I don't have the capacity to react to it, so I just have to freeze in time. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Okay. I, you love, very I love Converse. Okay. How many tattoos do you have? I have like, I feel like I have 10. I think I have 10. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where? Do you have tattoos? Shh. I know where you got one. You got one on that back. I wish. I have one on my butt cheek though. This one. Had? I have it. Oh. Yeah, I on my butt said cheek. had. I have, <laughs> I, like... I have this one and I have one right here. It's my mom's birthday. This is a group tattoo of my six friends. It's sexy six. So like <gasps> each line represents one of my six oh, friends. And wait. then I have a heart tattoo on my ass. Yeah. I'm like, I have one for my mom too. We're twins. Uh, yeah. But your mom is dead, so don't compare moms. Wait, no, my mom is dead. Your mom's alive is what I meant to say. No, my mom is dead too. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't you didn't know that? I didn't. You didn't? No, because I was watching the podcast with um Bretman. I was like, girl, that's Damn, so that joke wasn't tough. even funny then. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> girl, wait, you know what people used to say in school? You know when your mom was like the joke? Mm hmm People say that to me, then the class would go quiet. And it was just it was just the most awkward thing. Yeah, in the world. I always love that because like nobody's like like hey did you did you forget? Y yeah, and it would just be quiet because mm -hmm. the whole school knew. Yeah, and then it would just go quiet, and that was just that was my life in high school. And it was just like these rich white girls, yeah. and they would just be like your mom, and then they would be like, oh my Wait god, I'm so worried, I didn't mean. No! Oh. And I'd just be like, girl, whatever, girl. If I blindfolded you and put two asses in front of you, one of them is a woman's ass. One of them is a male's ass. And I made you fuck both asses. You wouldn't be able to tell me which one was a male ass and which one was a female ass. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I would have the boy's <laughs> dick and balls tucked. And, like, I would have it tucked to his chest so you wouldn't be able to feel the balls. And I'd have the girl wearing, like, a cup on her this coochie. Is, <laughs> did you, is this on the spot? <laughs> yeah. This is sick. <laughs> so that way it would be a fair, like, blind test. Okay. And you wouldn't be able to tell. And well, are I you in the girls? I, hmm? Are you are you straight? No. I am straight, yeah. Are you Oh. I know. Everybody That's not fun. Yeah, everybody 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 thinks I'm gay and they still think I'm in the closet, but and it's like no. let's tech on that. Out of all the things I've said on the internet, y'all think I'm scared to say I'm gay? Right. Out of yeah. everything I done said, like <laughs> all of the things I've said. But yeah, no, I don't I don't I don't You really, never tried it? No. I'm not attracted to girls. I think women are sexy and I think women are so beautiful and like, mwah, I wish I could kiss every girl, but like, mm -hmm. when it comes down to eating that cooter, I can't. Okay. What? We'll move on. No, but going back to what I'm saying, it would be a fair blind taste test and I would make the boy get his asshole waxed so you would not be able to tell the difference. This is just not true. <laughs> like, I don't yes, know what. Yes, it is. Buttholes aren't the same. No. Ass is ass. No. Head is head. <laughs> Brain is brain. Hey. You have you have a you have a man mentality, <laughs> like you, like you. You mean to tell me seriously? If I had a a, a girl butt and a boy butt, you would be able to tell the difference in the butt. Yes. How? I'm not getting into the details, but okay. I would be able to trust. Do you have a six pack? I haven't gone to the gym. Sometimes I don't know. It depends. Okay. But Do you feel certain pressures to look a certain way being in LA and being an influencer? Not being an influencer, but being in L.A., yeah. I'm not going to lie. Before I came here, I didn't really care about, like, it, if you can see me when I first came here, you would be like, oh, he really doesn't care. Like, I think I wouldn't be surprised. If what? <laughs> and like, you, like, if you look, like, bummy and stuff. When I first came here. <laughs> first of all, I was right out of quarantine. Like, I was right out of quarantine. But anyway, I, yeah, I feel like there are some pressures, but I don't let it, I don't take in the bad pressure mm -hmm. like i feel like the pressure that i just take care of myself better. yeah i feel like that's with me like because again you've seen my glow up um mm -hmm. i used to not give a fuck about how i looked really? like on camera or like 
anything. But I feel like just being in LA like makes you want to take care of yourself more. It do- and why? Why? I have is no it- idea. Like I think it's because everybody takes care of themselves. Yeah. So if you don't, you stick out. Like you yes, look like, crazy. Like you don't do your skincare. If you don't like put on like a decent outfit, like you look crazy. <laughs> it's like you look crazy. <laughs> you look crazy. People, <laughs> people will think that you're like going through something bad. Yes. If you look like normal. It's like, are you like? Are you doing crack? Yeah, like they'll think like your teeth are decaying. Yeah, like so I just feel like, and then like also like I like I just want to take care of myself more. Like I want to look more presentable. Like also Same. I love doing my skincare or whatever. Because mm-hmm. I used to be those girls that like I always had good skin, but I was just like I don't have to do anything but wash my face. But like now yeah. it's like girl, I do need the toner. I right. do need the moisturizer. <laughs> right. I, I do need the serums. Mm-hmm. So before you came to LA, you didn't like. Did you see like a big difference? Was was there like a defining moment where you were like, okay, wait, I want to start like, I feel like. Um, yeah, like, when I was going to like events and shit, I was looking around the room like, mm-hmm. oh, that's, oh, everybody's. Yeah, like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the only one that wanted to go cash today? Like, right, right, right. Okay, I was, all, like, I was, I was, I was going to events with no makeup on. Like, no makeup on, not doing my edges, mm-hmm. like, not styling my hair. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I was fucking free while I didn't give a fuck. Right, like, like I'm here. I'm in LA. Like, here. <laughs> I even made it. I don't have to do too much. It's yeah. like, girl. And then I would get like photographed. Like, wait, why do I look so horrible? Right. No. One time I took like uh like it wasn't a Getty picture, but it was just like a picture with like a whole group. And when it was, we were going down the line, and everybody was like, "Damn, I look good. I look good. I look good." And I saw me, and I said, "Oh, I look like I shouldn't be here." Yes. So it's like, I, so know. maybe this is why people ask me, "How did I? Who do I know here?" When I got when I got up, maybe that's why they're saying like, "Who do you know on the list?" Oh, n- that's crazy. <laughs> that's a good, like, and I used to get that a lot. Like, oh my god, who invited you? Or like, how did you find out about this? And I'd be like, oh, like I got the email, like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm on the list too. Like, like what do you I, mean? Uh, I belong here, guys. Right. But I, mean, I guess not. But I feel like yeah, being around. Being around people that like genuinely like take care of themselves is like encourages you to like want to give a fuck about yourself. Mm-hmm. And then like I would have my friends like I didn't start wearing lashes until I moved to LA. Like I didn't start really doing my edges until I moved to LA. I didn't even start really getting dressed to leave the house. Mm-hmm. When I was in Birmingham, Alabama, oh god, they was. Oh my god, I'm glad I wasn't like super super famous because <laughs> the pop the the pat picks back when would have been crazy. <laughs> basketball shorts, big ass t shirts, ashy <laughs> knees. Oh, it's giving, it's giving South. It's ashy, giving the South. Ashy elbows, goddamn, just chapstick. Would, chapstick and vibes. Were you ever, do you feel a pressure in LA to like, like, what's the word? I don't know. To be, to be a certain way or to have a certain like status or to be. I don't really feel a certain way to have, like, have a certain status. But I do like the only thing about or LA, for your body body to look a certain way because I definitely do low key. But the thing is, like, I wanted to lose weight for like my own personal like health reasons. But being in LA did not help the body this morning. Yeah, it did not help at all. Mm-hmm. Like being in like like being in LA, like everybody has the same body. Like everybody looks the same mm-hmm. way. Right. And, like majority of people will be in like the same rooms. So it's like I would be like invited to events or like them fuck ass gifting suites with clothes and they'd be like fuck ass gifting <laughs> suite. <laughs> like, literally. Oh. And I would literally walk up and be like, "Hey, like what's the biggest size y'all got cuz I know y'all about to give me some bullshit." Mm-hmm. So like um I am so sorry. No, the- <laughs> I'm so sorry but like you know our boss only gave us the largest the biggest thing we have today and I like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, like I, I swear like like we do carry like with the clip in her hair. Yeah, we do we yeah. do carry extra larges on the website, but the only bitch I'm a I'm a I'm a four X. Like girl, I like... can't even wipe my ass with an extra large <laughs> <laughs> at the time, yeah. and it's like being in those gifting suites and like I don't know, I was like constantly being humiliated, bro. Like yeah. constantly Damn, I can't, being that's fucking annoying. Yeah, constantly being humiliated, constantly feeling embarrassed about how how big my body was, and then also they would have these events in these tight ass spaces, so I'm taking up like hella space. <laughs> Please. Like, can we get some budget? Can we get a venue? Like, <laughs> and this tiny ass little club. Like, no, it literally be like this. Yeah, sometimes. and so like yeah. you know, like, uh, Vanita, can you scoot over? Like, no, bitch. Mm. Like, I can't scoot over. Right. My ass takes up the majority <laughs> of the fucking couch. But it was like that, and like the constant embarrassment, and then like my own personal like, like, um, feelings I felt about my weight was like, yeah, girl, we gonna have to, we gonna have to do something. Mm. When I got on that plane, I couldn't buckle my seatbelt no more. I said, hmm. <laughs> it might be that time. 
Um, what does your dream man look like? My dream man. Oh my man. god, my ankles are so ashy. Don't look at them. Hopefully they can't see them. Oh god. I bought these Converse to cover my ankles. I was running oh, late, so guys. Cute. I like platform. See? Yeah. They sent me like six pairs of Converse. I'm. I don't think I've ever worn Converse before in my life. They better give you a deal. Shout out Converse. Um, what was the, oh my dream man look like? Not black. What else? No, I don't have a preference at all. Like I told you, I'm vibe, and it's like, I don't know. I, there's times that the thing is, I'll think that I have a type, and then I'll somebody be, comes along. I'll be out and I'll see somebody, and I'll be like, wait, I've never been like, I never thought that like I'll be attracted to. See, that's another thing. That's why I don't have a type. Like, cause it's like, if you're fond of me, you're fond of me. And that's what I always say. But people, it's weird. People always want you to have a certain type and they get, they're like, no, you definitely like, there's definitely some trait that you definitely like th to have the most. Yeah. Like, the only thing I look for is teeth. That's it. Yeah. Wait, teeth do it. A smile. A pretty smile really drops my fucking draws. Yeah. And why is it like a smile? If you have a bad smile, your whole, everything could be on. But as soon as you open that mouth and I'm saying, good morning. <laughs> uh, and your, and your teeth are saying, what side? Yeah. You don't, everything could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Like, okay, because here's my thing. Here's my thing. <laughs> if I look at your mouth and I couldn't imagine kissing you, you don't have a chance in hell. <laughs> couldn't imagine kissing you is crazy. But you no, know but what I'm, I'm saying? is like your teeth and your lips and your mouth. Like, if I can't see myself kissing you, like, I can't I can't do it. Yeah, I don't want my tongue to get cut on your teeth. <laughs> like, I don't want, like, the gnarled. I don't want like, it, Oh, my really. God. Mm, wait. Yeah. Ouch. Is that a razor blade? And there, I'm bleeding. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I don't want that. No shade to the girls, but, you know. Yeah. Shade. What do you think about veneers? It's giving horse teeth most of the time. I think, and guys, hear me out. Before you get veneers, mm -hmm. have we thought about braces? Huh? <laughs> have we thought about? Have we? Invisalign. I'm the same. I think the same. Have we thought about getting your teeth bleached? Because why are you 18 years old getting your teeth whittled down to nubs? To shark teeth. To shark like, and then mind you, you have to get your you have to get your veneers replaced like every 10 to 15 years. So it's like if you can't afford it, you don't replace. Yeah. Then it's like, and then your then your real teeth are decaying behind your veneers. Have you smelled somebody's teeth with veneer? <laughs> have, have you smelled some veneer no. breath? You haven't. Veneer breath is an epidemic that needs to be, it is the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. Cause like, it crossed my mind a little bit to like, oh my God, maybe I should get veneers. And I was like, wait, are you a stupid bitch? You're, you're. Like, and then guys, I have Invisalign. You see, you guys are always talking about how pretty my teeth are. Get Invisalign or get braces before you decide to make that lifelong fucking commitment. You're too young to have veneers. <laughs> like, veneers are dangerous. Like, are we being serious? Right. And then sometimes the veneers be so big that their mouth kind of full. Yes. Through, and it'd be like. Are and you then, chewing gum? Like, it, it literally be looking like the mask. Like, they don't even have like no indent that shows it's a tooth. Mm -mm. It looks, it looks like a fucking um, just one, like a mouthpiece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're about to go in the game. Yeah, like you're about, yeah. To, like you're about to go box. Like you're right. in the UFC. <laughs> like I'm begging you guys to please go to your dentist yeah, and please. find an option that is not veneers. It's not cute. It's not, or maybe even just like crowns or something. But like veneers is crazy. It's crazy. We're too young, <laughs> and and put that fucking filler down. Too while you're at it, cause the Philly be making y'all look 85 and you're Ooh. and you're 22. The the LA girls are gonna hate you for that. And I don't give a fuck. They hate you. Well, for I, that. I don't give a fuck. It's like, I hate the cosmetic industry. And don't get me wrong, I will get a fuck ton of work done in the coming months, guys. <laughs> um, this is no shade. I'm never gonna do anything to my face, but I will be getting a tummy tuck and a boob job. That's my business. But I feel like filler. And mm -hmm. like all that other shit, like you're putting like the chemicals and shit, like mm -hmm. especially in your face, like filler is meant for when you're like 40, 50, 60 and you want a more youthful look. Getting filler at 20 does the opposite of what you want it to do. Yeah, people start looking the same. Everyone starts looking the same. Yeah. And then it'll migrate. Yes, and now migrate, you look like. migrate, it will shift and it, it, like it drags your face down. Right. And then you just. Yeah. You're too young, babes. You're too young. It's scary. Like, I don't think lip filler is bad. But some people do Wait, OD it. That's what I was about to say. Some people OD it. It can be but bad. But I think it look a little half a, a half a syringe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, that, that'd be giving cute. But, like, mm -hmm. then, like, that's just, I don't know. I feel like they capitalize on women's insecurities. And, like, every day there's something new. There's a new procedure that you can get done. Like, there why, is. Like, why the fuck are you getting, like, your fucking pussy lips clipped? Like, girl, like, please. <laughs> Please. Wait, clipped? Like you can get like a, like a pussy tuck, like a get you like let's let's say to you have an Audi. You know, there's an Indian and an Audis. Right. So like Audis have like bigger labias, and there are women that get that like cut off this. to make their pussy like an any. 
so an aesthetically pleasing looking vagina wow yeah. okay um see there's a lot of things in la that i didn't know there's people i didn't know it's called pdo thread or something what the hell is that people get threads and they put it through their jaw oh that, to pull it back yes and, and I think then you can the do it, thread I think you can do it to like your forehead and your eyes too yeah i didn't know that like that was e like, like people would go like, through that i just feel like sometimes you just gotta accept the way that you look <laughs> and sometimes you can't enhance yes! like you can't like it's just gonna make you look worse like, because I you're trying to enhance some girls that like they were so beautiful before they let their fucking cosmetic doctor get in their head mm -hmm. like and What's like sad? so cute before the filler and i promise you guys you probably look better without the filler yeah because you look your fucking age like i, I just i'm so but it's like, you know, it's like, it's just like the beauty community and everything. And then like on TikTok, there's always like a new way to do, like this, what the fuck did this girl say? She made a video talking about you have um, like a high value face and like a low value what? face or something. What? Like, just inventing new insecurities every fucking day. Reindeer eyes. Yeah. And, and like, mouse well, if you have, if you have these shaped eyes and you're prettier, if you have like, these what? type of lips, you're like, who gives up up guys, please. <laughs> I beg. Yeah. Put down the work. <laughs> Put down the needle. Put down the needle, please. Mm -hmm. Give the needle a rest. But if there's something that you really want to do to enhance your beauty, don't let me stop you. Do anything that makes you feel beautiful. But I would just say do more research and look at like long term like pictures of what it looks like after one to two years. And don't get trigger happy with it. Get a little something something, but don't keep going back now. Are you on any of the apps? Mm, like what app? Tinder, Bumble, fuckmeintheass.com. No, I'm not on. I was on. I was on Hinge. Are you on? What's that? What's that? New well, gay actually, site? I was on Hinge. What's that new gay site called? Teddy Sockies, Stinky. Why do you know it? <laughs> and I don't know. No, I'm not on any of those. Yeah, you but. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's something like that though. Wait, it's like, what? Why is, is it on y'all for, for sex, you? Though. It's just for sex. Cause this, it, this we went viral of this of this I guy was grinder. sending this sending the guys that he was supposed to be hooking up with to this girl's apartment. And she was like, and it was like five guys in like one day. She's like, hey, this is not. I think it's called oh, Stinkies. Oh, Stinkies. oh, and she kept opening it. And she yeah. was like, what's the email? Oh yeah. No. Oh, I know. I, I saw that video, but no, I'm the only one I was on. He was on Raya. No, people say that that sucks. But they I was won't on let Hinge. my black ass on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was on Hinge. Um, Hinge is it's scary, kind of. Hinge is like a Scooby Doo episode. Like it's just ghouls and, and goblins. Like yeah, like I honestly <laughs> was like, I started talking to like a few people, but I, we never like really did mm -hmm. much. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I just I'm at the point where it's like, whatever happens naturally is gonna mm -hmm. happen, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'll be on the apps though. I like to fish. Yeah, I like, just like to see what's in the lake. It's fun, but I feel like I'm such like a lover boy that like I'm a lover girl. I but get it's hurt. Like, also, it's like I just tell me I'm pretty. Oh no! Like right now in this moment, you're pretty. Wait, you want somebody to tell you you're pretty, or you want them to just say it? Like, oh no, I want them to say it because then it's like you told me I was pretty out of pity. What's your ideal man? Like, what is he? What is he? Is he? <sighs> He's. Does um, he have to be funny or? Yeah. Well. Or like, how is I he? I enjoy. I think I enjoy laughing. So like. I wouldn't say it has to be funny, but could keep up with my sense of humor. Okay. Like, he ain't got to fucking do stand-up for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like, if I make a joke, he can bounce off the joke, and then we can right. keep going. Yeah. Um, I like guys that are, like, artsy and nerdy that are into, Aww. like, creative things that like to, like, read and, like, go outdoors. Yeah. Uh, I like guys that are into, like, like they can dress mm -hmm. and, like, they're All right. quirky. All right. Um, that watch anime because I like watching anime, mm -hmm. uh, and I like guys that are just fun and talkative, and also will like worship the ground that I walk on. Yeah, and that's what I haven't found yet. I found some of the other qualities that I just named, and mm -hmm. like some guys, but they never worship me. When you say worship the ground, do you want to control him? No, I don't want to control anybody. Okay. I want you to like. As soon as my eyes flutter open in my bed, I open my <laughs> iPhone and I look and it's good morning. You, you have the most beautiful thing, the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you so much. You're so pretty. The sun sets when you set. The stars rise when you rise. You make my world round. I am nothing without you. So <laughs> you'd get annoyed. No, that's what I want. Okay. You like, wouldn't I get annoyed. Be, I want them to be like, because like. <laughs> If a man actually gets me, I am the best thing that has ever happened to him. That's not even me being cocky. That's me being like completely honest. Period. Like if like and we talking about men here. 
mm-hmm. a straight man gets me, I'm clearly the best thing that's ever happened to him in his life. Mm-hmm. So I want you to act accordingly. I want you to be like, <laughs> Fanita, like... Every fucking day, you're just like, I love you so much. Like, you're so beautiful. You're so mm-hmm. gorgeous. Like, I love you. Like, I would be nothing without you. Like, <laughs> you want yeah. him to, like, be, you want, I want him, him to, to die suck without my you. Dick. Yeah, I want him to suck my dick. Like, from the back. Next to my butthole. So, okay. All right. Yeah, I want... Well, that I, last part. I want I like, okay. I want him to be a dick rider. But then also, like, but I just want that to be genuinely who he is. Like, he's genuinely just, like, in love with me and, like, mm-hmm. astounded by me. But then I also want him to be like, bitch... Just kidding. Not call me a bitch. But take control. Yeah, be like, shut oh. up, Fanita. Stop being dramatic and come... Fuck this. Okay. Okay. Do you give good advice? Um, I think I do, but I can never take it for myself. Do you give good hit? What's on the phone? <laughs> I'm just asking you a question. Do you give good hit? Um You look you look like you suck good dick. Me you should have a <gasps> dick sucking competition. Wait, what if I'm like what if I'm eating puss? Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you should have a dick sucking competition. Who do you think will win? I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot more skin in the game than you do. You have a lot more what? Skin in the game. I'm an elite dick sucker. I have a five star review on Yelp. You don't know what I do. What's the longest you've ever sucked? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Where the fuck am I? Where the on fuck am I? I'm in, I'm in hell. I'm in hell. Like, this is fucking crazy. Um, so. You get me like, you can go down on an 11. Yeah, I can. I, the longest I've sucked was a 10. And I got all the way to the to the base, and I have witnesses that can com- corroborate that story. Witnesses. Yeah, because my friends watch. Watch. That's a different story. You give sex party. No. Bath. I just had a freaky ass friend group. Oh. See, I never. I never did. I never did. You never had a freaky ass friend group. You, no, like, we y'all did. Y'all just get drunk and just start touching on each other. And it was all in good fun. No. Dare or dare. Never. <laughs> You've never been in a hot tub with your group of friends. It's like, oh, I dare so and so to make out. No. In high school, I almost was in that situation, but I was scared. <laughs> I was we scared. used to do that all the time in college. In college, time. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hang out with anyone except one girl. So you were a loser. <laughs> now it's time for Benita's Bad Fiction, where you guys call in and I give you advice because I am the best person to give advice from my little fortune teller. Hello. I wanted to know what's the weirdest interaction you guys have had at an influencer event with these LA influencers, since I love your TikToks about those. Thank you. Bye. You go first. You go first. I got to think. No, I have to think to I have to, think. I have to think to really get the Hold best on, one, I but I have I thought she was just gonna say the weirdest one, like with someone who knew who mm-hmm. we were. Yeah, there's a lot of Because I have that, but influencer one, I forgot to think. I just remember one time uh one girl at an influencer event thought I was working the event. <laughs> Holy fuck. And she came up to me That's... and she was like, Hey, you can do you know which rag this is on? Da 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 because it was like I think it was a pretty little thing. And I was like, Girl, what? What? And she was I'm like, here. Can you help me like find like do you have the size? And I was like, Oh no, I'm I'm not working. She's like, No, I I literally just seen you at the door and I was like, That's a completely different black woman. And now we're both gonna look crazy. <laughs> like that's <laughs> wait, the thing is like people really do think that like we look like like yeah. black they think like especially here, Mind I re- you, that I've realized woman, that. Like, nothing like me. Yeah, like people have realized like people would be like, Oh, I thought you were no 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 no. Or and, calling me like a completely different creator's name. Yeah, that's insane. And and they almost won't even feel bad. <laughs> They'll think that you should understand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's crazy. And then they be coming up to you so hype and call you the wrong name. Yeah. What's the weirdest fucking interaction? I feel like there's so many that I just think it's normal now. What is this? Y'all, this, I don't know what's going on. But um, anyway, um, weirdest interaction. I don't know. I feel like it just, somebody was probably on coke or something <laughs> in my face and saying like, moving her body in a weird way. And this is probably like one of the first times that I realized that someone was actually doing drugs. I don't know why I thought it was a myth, like coke. And she was moving her body and saying like, babe, you look so good, babe. I wasn't even out. So mm-hmm. I don't know why she was calling me like, babe. <laughs> and I was like. And touching her hair a lot. And she was just like, baby, you look so good. And I was saying, her, but she was looking through me. Mm-hmm. Has someone ever looked through you? Do you know what that means? Like, you look so good, babe. That. Very much that, but more jittery. More like you have no control. Also, you know what I hate? 
I hate when influencers and TikTokers that live in LA make those videos of like, I hate influencers in LA. They're so rude. They're so mean. Bitch, you're talking about yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all are all fake as fuck. Like, they be the first ones to make a video like, oh, my God, I wish people were nicer here. Bitch, when I tried to talk to your ass, you said, hey, and, and it's turned you're around. the problem. Yeah. Like, you are the problem. You're that's talking about yourself. Thing. That's why I I don't know. I like people who don't be, like, in the influencer, like, yeah, that's why I don't like Or they're not from here. Yeah, yeah. People that aren't from L.A., like, I feel like I always, especially, if, I like people from the East Coast. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I always get along with I them. I also like people from the East Coast. Yeah, so, I like. I want to move to the East Coast. You want to move to the East Coast where? Yeah. I want to move Don't say to, Atlanta because you no, might no, no. not make like, it out. I'm like, I want to move to like, I think like Jersey and then so I can take the train to New York. But I don't want to oh. live in New York. Yeah, I don't like LA. Like, it's just not my vibe. Like, I feel like I'm like too real for this city, man. I want to be around other real bitches. Like, everybody's fake as fuck. And then it's hard to go out here. It's hard to have fun. The nightlife is non-existent because the bars and shit want to be fake exclusive. Like, we're in Miami. Like, yeah. bitch, we're in Silver Lake. What the fuck do you mean we can't get in? Like, why is there a line around the door? Drinks are expensive as hell. There's just no raw, real bitches. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm like a dying breed. A dying breed. <laughs> a dying breed. Honestly, I probably would feel the same if I wasn't gay. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah. I feel like it's just like moving from here, like the suburbs mm -hmm. of Atlanta, moving here, it just feels like freeing. That's why I like it here. But, um. You can keep talking. I'm saying you fall. Oh. Wait, I like having this. Does it look like a white vagina to you? Have you ever seen a white vagina in real life? Yes. I have too. Wait. The thing is, girls, like, they're literally, like, n n since they know that, like, I'm not even, like, into... Mm -hmm. Well, actually, there's some girls that I'd be like, wait, but I would never do anything. But um, they'll just, like, undress, like, fully in front of me, and I'll mm -hmm. just be like, oh, okay, I didn't know we were that comfortable. Okay, wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Answer it. Like, the answer our telephone. Okay. Hello? Hey, Fanita. How you doing, girl? I freaking love you. You are so beautiful. Zach, I love you as well. You're so freaking funny. Um, Fanita, I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Have you ever gotten a Brazilian wax? If not, I recommend you try it. The results Big, are the tea, but it is so freaking painful. I don't know. Everybody has different experiences. Um, would you mind sharing yours? I would just like to hear your, your version because mine was absolutely terrifying. I was sweating. It hurt very, very bad. So I just want to know how your experience went. Um, yeah. Love you. Bye. First of all, little bitch, you trying to say my pussy hairy? What the fuck kind of question is this? Mike, I don't know if you've ever got, you think I'm a, I, I, I'm just a gutter bitch? I'm just kidding. I do have a full bush right now. Um, I have gotten Brazilian wax multiple times. The first time I got a Brazilian wax, it hurts like hell. Don't listen to anybody that said it doesn't hurt. It hurts like a motherfucker. It, it's like somebody is, is ripping the skin off your pussy. Right? And the first time I did, okay, here's a secret. This is not a secret, but like something about the hot wax. Like sometimes when I get hot. waxed, I'm just like. Well, I've never done it, but. Doesn't but I it don't hurt? like. I don't. It it hurts, but the wax feels kind of nice. Like when they put it on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like okay. the warm wax kind of feels nice, and then also I don't know if it's because like I be nervous when I get waxed, but I like when I be getting up like it's like my my like I like literally just piss through my asshole because it's there's like it's like. It, I sweat so bad when I get waxed. Like, oh. I'm just saying that bitch hot as fuck. And it hurts. I scream. I hate getting it done. Um, that's why when I went on a vacation, I had to get my coochie waxed. And I was growing out my winter bush. And I'm growing out my winter bush right now. Um, I enjoy having a bush. Uh, I'm team bush. I'm team fur. I'm team hairy pussy. Because um, the thing is, is, like, who gives a fuck? It's my, it's my vagina. I shave occasionally. Oh, fun Finger. fact, y'all. I have not shaved my legs in, like, a year. But feel them though, they're ashy. But pretend you don't see the ash. Wait. Exactly. I don't grow hair on my legs. Oh really? Feel my arms. Well, your skin is like smooth and soft. Like, like I it's don't, I baby. don't, I don't, I don't grow body hair. And if I do grow body hair, it's like very, very thin. Like literally, the only places I grow hair is like my head, and my and my my coochie. Wow. But yeah, I don't shave my legs. I don't shave my arms. I don't like shaving. I don't like the standards that women have to be put in. I hate shaving. Yeah. But yeah, I have gotten a wax. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I don't, but like waxing hurts. And it's like, who am I really doing this for? Because I don't give a fuck if my pussy has hair on it. So who am I really getting and a wax for? And he shouldn't either. And he shouldn't either. He shouldn't either. He should eat what is fucking served to him. You don't ever tell the chef how to make her dish, her specialty. Mm -hmm. You eat it as it's served. <laughs> if he cares, it's a problem. Yeah. Hello? 
Hey, Sanita. Hey, Zach. I haven't watched your content for a long time, but my situation basically is that I'm getting, I'm getting up there. I'll be 21 in a little bit, <laughs> and my dating experience is very lacking. I've been on a few dates, but I haven't been on any in over a year. And I didn't really date in high school. Oh, girl, you just pissed me so off. You know you about to get my it. My dating experience was a few dates, and I've never even kissed anyone. And it's getting a little bit scary because the older I get, the harder it is for me to explain to people. You like, are 20 years old. Hey, you're, you're never just really been in a relationship. Never even kissed anyone. Um, and I just feel like everyone's in a point in their lives where they're not there anymore. And I feel like nobody's really going to want to deal with that. And, like, I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. Okay, baby, like, we got to wrap this up. You're losing. How do I approach people and how do I feel comfortable dating when I have a little dating experience and I have the fear of people taking Are you about to cry? advantage of that? Oh, would love to hear your response and love you so much. First and foremost, you just made me mad a little I bit. I must do this shit. Yeah, because, like, like, you're getting up there. I'm 25. Yeah, you're and 20. I'm 23, so it's like. Like, that's not getting up there. At all. Also, it's, I think uh, because of, like, media, like, dating in high school and shit is so romanticized. But if it makes you feel any better, the hottest girl you know has never had a boyfriend. And I'm 25 and still thriving. Um, I think when the time comes... You'll meet somebody that you want to smooch and you want to kiss and you want to get into a relationship with. But you just got to be patient. You can't force that type of shit. And also, you don't ever want to, like, want a relationship so bad that you just date anybody that wants a relationship with you because then that might be, like, a toxic person. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you just got to feel things out. Like, babe, you're 20. Let's go to a nightclub. Let's put on a bikini top and, like, shake our ass. You know what I mean? Like, like let's be, like, young and hot in turn. Let's go mm -hmm. take, like, shots at the bar and, like, drink blue motherfuckers. You don't have to worry about, like, a relationship right now. You're 20. Yeah. Smoochers. Love you. <laughs> And honestly, like, I kind of I feel like I relate to, like, what she said. Like, never had, like, a boyfriend. Like, I feel, I've never honestly had, like, a boyfriend before. Like, I, and I'm 23, um, but I've talked to people here and there. But I get what she's saying about being scared to hop in the dating world when mm -hmm. you can tell other people have definitely had their high school sweethearts and done all of that. Especially when you're, you think that you're, you think everyone is like very seasoned and stuff, but in reality, there's a lot of people that have never dated somebody. Right. Too. There's a lot of people and you'll be able to find the person that makes you comfortable enough to want to try it with them. Mm -hmm. And they won't make you feel like, yeah. oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. And mm -hmm. um, I need somebody who's the, so you'll be able to find it. Somebody that actually cares about you. They're going to like make sure that you're comfortable at all times. Yeah, I promise you. you yeah, as soon as as soon as you let them know, like, you know, I've never done anything like this. Like if they actually give a fuck about you. They're going to make sure you feel comfortable doing whatever it is that you guys do. Exactly. So, yeah, you shouldn't feel bad. You're not. And then getting up there, girl, that was crazy. I'm not going to lie. That was yeah, insane. getting up there just really. I, I don't even want to answer your question, to be honest, because you just insulted me. <laughs> right. Like, I really don't even yeah. want to be this nice. But um, I'm sure there's people watching who, like, haven't dated anybody either. Yeah. Like, if you've never dated anybody, put it in the comments. Or kissed anyone. Like, yeah. yeah. And if you want to kiss somebody for your first time, you can kiss me. You can't kiss me. But. Oh, you weren't leaning in that whole time? Before you before you closed your eyes, I wasn't leaning <laughs> in. So I definitely wasn't when you closed them. But anyways. Anywho, Ooh. Zach. I love you dearly. Do you? Because I feel like she just be saying stuff. And you it's given the L.A. You Weren't we just talking about them? Are you about to call me a slur? Oh, I was gonna say you you got me there, but I guess the way my mouth was forming. <laughs> now Zach, and keep that shit now, in. Zach, you know, if anything, I'm a lot of things. I'm mean. <laughs> I'm black. I'm overweight. But at the very fucking core, I'm a goddamn ally, and I will never. You know I would never say anything like that. Well, shit, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Something seemed like it seemed like it was loaded. Anywho, guys, Zach, it's closing time. It's closing it is. Time. It is the end of our time together. I hope you had fun. Oh. Hope you enjoyed yourself. No, I had fun and it gave like, it gave freedom. Yeah, like, it I gave freedom. Free anything. We're black. We are free now. We should give that. Shout out to MLK. Um, guys, 
This has been Zach Jokes. Zach, tell the people where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube at undos, U-N-D-O-S. That's what you said. I always said undos. You were wrong. Because I always thought Uh, it was uno dos and like undos. You're wrong. Um, But you can find me there. My name is Zach. And thank you, Fanita, for having me. Of course, baby. I've, I've always wanted to do this one. Yeah, it was cute, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you think I have the best podcast? Is this gonna hurt? No, okay. that's not. That's that's real. Oh, that's- <gasps> Please don't. Dude, Please don't. We're not true. doing no more glass shattering on this no. goddamn set. Yeah, I know. I almost fucking went home with a fucking stem through my brain. Um, guys, it has been me, your favorite sexy. Oh my god, I'm so beautiful and I'm so stunning. I'm so gorgeous. I'm so funny. I'm so charismatic and really the best thing that's ever happened to this world. Um, and this has been Bottoms Up with me. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Pastor Bedtime YouTube channel. You can find these episodes every Monday on the Pastor Bedtime YouTube channel. And tell me what you love about the episode. And I love you guys. You know I do. I wouldn't be here without you. All right. This is it. Bye.